All right, my Buhai squad. So I have some pretty cool news. It's good news. And it's news that was worrying me at first, like this whole issue. But now, all is good. Mabuhay squad, the good news I have to share is... Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Hit subscribe. My allergies are gone. Okay, so a couple vlogs back, I was kind of concerned that I had the roams because like I woke up sneezing and like lots of mucus in my nose. I'm like, OMG, am I sick? And then I figured, okay, maybe it's allergies. So swept down here. But I discovered that after reading that Madagascar hissing cockroaches produce a lot of specific kinds of molds that can trigger some people who have allergies to such molds. So I'm running our HEPA filter here in in our ant room just in case see and this is my roach farm full of Madagascar hissing cockroaches feeders for my other animals that eat bugs <laughs> OMG it works oh my gosh Hi, Mabuhai squad. It's the next day. You won't believe our morning. Our morning was spent trying to figure out SD cards, cameras, dumping files, adapters for SD cards, and all of this. Guys, is Mercury in retrograde? Because everything technologically is failing. Sorry, so basically, I woke up this morning and all the, that I had vlogged of last night, all of this morning, gone. Gone. Like a whole vlog gone. Not gone, I just couldn't for some reason dump the footage on my computer. And then we started playing using other SD cards and started vlogging and that ended up not being able to be dumped. OMG, like I'm so sorry. There was such a nice beautiful vlog. RJ had cooked this wonderful dinner yesterday. Sinigang, which I ate. Mm, it was so good. And then this morning I was vlogging the second time with the second SD card and now we can't dump that footage either. So we're trying a third SD card which came from my drone. OMG. Anyways, you guys are like, what's going on? I don't understand. Let's just say that a whole day's worth of vlog is gone. Or it's inaccessible. <sighs> Oh, the guys, the guys. There's the Gaia. Mm -hmm. She's molting, so she's in a strange mood. Sometimes she wants me to be around. Sometimes she doesn't want me to be around. OMG. Okay, so for the third time, let's do today's positive affirmation, guys. Saturday, April the 18th. I share my resources and my knowledge with all of life. There you go, guys. I like that sharing and knowledge sharing. Wow, you guys won't believe the frustrations. Oh, and I think this vlog will be late <laughs> because at this time we're usually sending all the footage that we've taken to Jaya who starts editing like crazy and uploads it on time for you guys. Not sure if that's gonna happen now. If it does, Jaya, you're the bomb. But it's a beautiful Saturday. Look at the gorgeous, gorgeous sunlight outside. Beautiful day here in the Philippines. Mm-hmm. Garden growing well. Look at how much kangkong we have. Seriously, I think we can start harvesting like soon and eating the kangkong. Even this kamote, look at these leaves. We can put this in our food now. Look at how big, see? Even our squash is raising its leaves to the sky. Our sayote is getting big as well, see? I can't see it, but you guys can, I guess. There. Our herbs growing well. Our basil growing well. RJ's doing laundry. <laughs> Rinsing time. Rinsing. It smells great. Ooh. Are these clean here? These ones hanging? Yeah. It's awesome. It's dry light. And I've been busy working this morning. Today, all the work, like online work, is done. Thank goodness. So I get to have rest now, today and tomorrow. Yay. Well, tomorrow is a pet maintenance day. OMG, guys. I am so bummed out that. <laughs> I had filmed the whole vlog for you guys and now it's all gone. I am so sorry. I guess it happens, right? There's Jabba the Hutt. Look at the colors on this frog. I was just admiring today, this morning, how gorgeous this frog is. Like the colors, I'm looking at it in real life and I'm looking at it on the screen here on this camera. It's just not the same, you guys. He's so b vibrant. Like look at the intricacies of his pattern. Like, it's so gorgeous, this frog. Jabba, you're just so, so handsome. Mm -hmm. Be, I'm so sad. We can't show Mabuhai squad your amazing sinigang. It's okay. From we'll, last night. There'll be more. Oh, it was so good. And it was like presented in this beautiful pot. <laughs> 
It was, it was so great. And then I ate it and vlogged it. And then when we couldn't access that footage and dump it on our laptop, I had to eat our leftover sinigang and vlog that so that you guys could see it. And then once that was done, we couldn't get that footage. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, babe. But guys, trust me, his dinner as usual was amazing yesterday. So Ligaya is molting right now, see? All those feathers coming out. But I also noticed that she sometimes pulls down feathers out. Wait, let's see if we can try to get her doing it on cam. Oh, molting season must be so like stressful for birds. Seriously, like I feel so uncomfortable just watching her because I could tell she's not at ease as she's molting. See, having feathers must be so difficult, right, guys? I'm sorry. But yeah, guys, I have a question. Sometimes I'll catch her pulling out down feathers. Not from the same place, from like certain areas of her body. And obviously I'm deathly afraid of feather plucking. She doesn't have any bald spots, no blood, no nothing like that. Do you guys sometimes see your birds pull out down feathers? Like particularly around molting season? Let me know, because I've done research and like a lot of the literature is kind of like it's not consistent now if she is plucking i don't know why or how that could be because i mean she's a happy bird from what i can see she spends a lot of out of cage time spends a lot of time with me as you guys see during the day her diet is like some of the best we import it from the u.s there see she pulled that she pulled it see that guys is that normal and then i think oh maybe does she miss ate elsie is that why is she stressing i don't know in your opinion guys does this look like feather plucking or will this proceed to feather plucking it scares me guys it really does and we brought her to the vet recently and blood work was all normal if this continues i'll have to bring her to the vet again bird seriously you stress me out <laughs> This is what you can expect when you get a parrot. <laughs> it's like a child. I don't know, maybe I'm like the paranoid parent, but for those of you guys with birds, do you ever see your bird do that? Like pull out a down feather? She did it again! <laughs> the guys, please stop that. Okay, she wants scratches, okay. Here you go. No, scr okay, she doesn't want scratches now. All right. Honestly, I need to relax, seriously. Because every time I've thought it was plucking, it didn't turn out to be plucking. <laughs> She's grooming, she's grooming. I'll try to catch her doing it. Oh, look at all that dander. That tail feather, by the way, is gonna fall off soon too. There, see? She pulled that out. That's what scares me. There, that too. The guy stopped feather plucking. <gasps> Guys, should we be concerned? Should we take her to the vet again? Okay, this one just fell off, but naturally she didn't pick it off. It's from the outside of her wing. So she is molting, but like randomly she'll pull out down feathers. Oh, it, it just causes me so much stress. The guys, is there something wrong? Let's see if she'll do it again. She's preening herself. And I mean, she seems happy. You guys see in the vlogs how much she sings during the day, right? Or like talks. I don't know, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm worried again. Any help you guys might be able to give would be greatly appreciated. Please share your knowledge. So Arjun and I are trying to debate whether we should go to the vet. It's kind of scary out there. Um, okay. My squad. This is not good. 